Well, it's Thursday and it's the drought monitor update day. Now, last week, this is what it looked like. We were looking at exceptional drought in three of our counties, basically down here towards this, uh, the west. A lot of it was also uh, in our area under extreme drought. Now this week, for four days, we got some rain. We got some pretty good rain as well. Starting on last Tuesday, you can see Tuesday, Thursday, then Sunday, Monday, and also on Tuesday. They don't count this until next week, but we got plenty of rain. And what that did was it really helped to eliminate that exceptional drought across those three counties. So we did definitely put a dent in the drought. We also improved many areas to the north and to the west, uh, to the uh, east as well. So we'll be following that up. Unfortunately, there's not going to be a lot more rain in the next five to 10 days. So it's going to be dry, but at least we got at least a two to three inches out of it. Right now we are seeing those clouds in the area. The system is now towards the east of us. It's going to take a little while for these clouds to be out, but by midnight, we will be clear and like I said earlier, we're going to be seeing some fog forming right now. Uh, Madison is at 66 and Baraboo is at 67. We're not going to really break the 60s today, but this is going to be the last day in the 60s. All right, starting at midnight, we can see the start the fog is beginning to develop in this area, but really expands all the way to the Mississippi, almost to Milwaukee as well. If you are traveling tomorrow morning, even at early as three o'clock in the morning, this is going to be an issue. And it doesn't really burn off until about nine or 10. So be very careful on the roads. It can come down in visibility very, very quickly. All right, overnight temperatures across much of the area down into the mid 50s with Madison at about 54 degrees. And really, we are looking at some very nice conditions. Fog here on Friday morning. Then as we go towards uh, Friday afternoon, clear skies. And then maybe a little bit of fog could be developing on Saturday morning more towards the west. A few showers well to the north, but not really affecting us in our area. If you remember, though, it's been a little while since we've had plenty of sun. Take a look at the last uh, 15 days all the way back towards the 15th. Most of it was mostly cloudy to cloudy. Well, as we go forward in time into the weekend and next week, we are going to be seeing plenty of sun as well as the summery warmth is going to be back again. And this is going to last for quite a while. Take a look at your seven day forecast. And what I mean is with the sun, we also get those temperatures. We are going to be seeing 75 on Friday. Uh, 83, 83, staying in the 80s all the way until next Thursday. On Wednesday, though, we do start to break it up and things are going to change drastically into next weekend. Well, enjoy that five yeah, day stretch. We have good news on the drought monitor and so we can That's celebrate right. the right. sunny conditions a little bit more. Kevin, thanks. Still